We've got a little bit more F2, not F1 yet, and uh, yeah, it is, it's the Hungarian Grand Prix this weekend, it's going to be hopefully good, hopefully exciting, I've not driven this track on this game, there are plenty of tracks which I haven't driven, in fact, all of the remaining tracks, no, I've driven Monza, but the rest I haven't driven, especially not in an F2 car. I've never driven them in an F2 car, and the last time I did drive them was F1 2016. Completely different cars anyway. So let's go. Woo! Welcome to Budapest and the Formula 2 practice session ahead of qualifying later this afternoon. The cars are getting ready, I think the drivers are definitely ready, so the action should be starting any minute now. Right, let's get into it straight away, no messing about, we're going to do a bit of car setup action. What wings do we want? I'd say pretty high. In fact, I'd say very high. Wow. Um, yeah. You know what? You know what? Fuck it. I reckon I'd go with 11 11 wings. Uh, 10 10. 9 9. Oh, fuck. I don't know. Because they call it Monaco without the barriers. Fuck it, I'll try it with 11-11. See how that goes. Got okay, that. Okay, we'll um, alter the setup of the car. Yeah. What's the weather looking like? So for practice, let's just go through the practice weather. Sunny spells throughout, basically. As far as I can see. So I'll just set a time when the truck's rubbed in. And qualifying, a bit cloudy, but still okay. Heavy rain in the feature race, sun in the sprint race. I mean, at least that means I can 100% just push on the fucking quality. But, uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll wait and see. There we go, that's everything we want. Uh, what's the tyre wear looking like on these? Oh, we can select wet if we want to. So 10 laps is supposedly the wet tyre range. Mm, yeah, definitely a one stop. I doubt we'll have to do a two stop. In From the time to time, I'll ask you if you want to change to a new strategy, or if there are any particular car adjustments you would like made in the pit stop. When I do so, a prompt will appear on the MFD, showing how long you have to respond. To answer, hold the radio button to open the radio screen. This will display your available responses. You may either speak the command, or let's get a few laps under our belt. Yeah, I definitely can't speak the command, I'll tell you that. I tried that, I tried saying weather report, and that didn't work. Oh shit. Oh shit. I'm really sorry to whoever I'm holding up. I, I mean, I, I know it's practice and all, but... Whoops. Weather report. Fuck you, Jeff. Fuck you. See, I said it. Yeah, you can attack that a bit more. 
ich hier, Mann. Wow. Brakes feels pretty good. Maybe it is the air. I'm so excited for Silverstone. I actually can't. It's insane. Oh, wow. I'm just going to get used to this bad boy. And a bit of sun. Or the sun. Right. Oh, fuck. Come on, come on. There we go. We could probably do with a bit of a tone quality. Because as it stands, I'm going to be very far down to the third sector, I reckon. I'm in a 100 AI style, so I might have to turn that down. Wait, oh shit, no, that's the end of the RX, not the end of the first episode. Well, it's still not going to be great. I mean, flat out through there, it's not that exciting. Wow, I'm only... I'm, I'm less than three tenths down, which is my record. Considering I've got 11, that's pretty good. That's pretty good going. Try and take these properly. Could maybe attack them a bit more. Right, I'm so excited for Silver's. And not only is it going to be okay, oh, fastest, wow, I'm fastest with 100 AI. Oh my fucking god. Um, the weather is going to be cool ish. The weather's going to be cool ish. Yes, it's a practice session. I just want an accurate representative, okay? God. Is that too much to ask? Go on, Rob. Go on, Rob. Rob Merry. Uh. No, fucking hell. Robbie Merry, fuck. Robert Mer Why? Right, all of a sudden though, the car's just gone. The car is gone. Any danger? Oh that could be why. You're nearly out of fuel. Shut up, Jeff, literally fuck off. I'll go from here and I'll try and actually break. You know, I'll try and take a tight line if you really want. Oh, a little bit wide. Doesn't matter, I'm on the curb, I'm technically still on the track. Four, okay. Okay. So, looks like I should be improving in the final sector. There's only so much I can do in the first sector, really. I mean, come on. Like, really? I mean, I'm really slow this sector. Like, fuck me. Like, I'm slow. I'm slower than myself. A lot slower as well. So, oh, maybe Mary was giving me a proper toe. We're really low on fuel. Box in the next two laps, please. What is the fuel looking like? What's the tyre wear looking like? Probably 6% a lap, 7. And this is a hard spot. And I know, oh, oh, it's actually, it's actually the medium. But it's the harder compound that we give. Okay, purple in the middle sector again. Roberto or Mary? Go on, come on! Right, oh, that was a good exit. Oh, that was a decent exit. Technically still slower in the final sector, but what are you gonna do? So I can actually break kinda late there. There we go. 
that's what we like. I mean, it's not as good an exit, I'm losing time, but fuck it, we do get. That was just really bad. Oh, I'm out of fuel. I'm actually, I, I'm actually out. Of Fuck it. I'm just returning to garage. I can't be asked to wait for this shit. We've got some pace though. We've got, you know, a bit of, yeah. So a 132.6. An interesting practice session there then. Let's remind ourselves of the top three, which are Giotto, Markelot, and Jack Aitken. Why Thank you for joining so us for out. free practice what? today. We'll be back with. Qualifying is upon us, so this Helicopter's is the moment of truth. Off. The fastest lap gets pole for tomorrow's first race. And four points in the standings. So again, we'll get out at the end of the session. I want I want to check: has my setup carried over? Yes, it has. Okay. Uh, let's go. Just heavy rain throughout. It's ridiculous. Oh, how many? Can I see how many laps it is? No. Pretty much everyone's out on the track. I feel like going out now. I just feel like it's a good time. So, was it a 36.6 maybe? 32.6 maybe. I reckon 32.6 sounds about right. Thirty-two six for how we did in practice. Your drag reduction system, or DRS, allows you to gain speed on certain straights. Off, we Absolutely call these areas the so DRS. So looking around here, I you want to be up here. You can use your DRS in these areas but, at will you know. during practice and qualifying. But in the race, DRS is only available if you're within one second of the car in front. The bar at the bottom of your MFD will fill up as you approach the DRS zone. And once it starts flashing, press the DRS button to activate. Checks complete. All per I think I've broke the game twice. Whoops. Yeah, the feature race is going to be chaos and I'm going to have to rewind a few times and I'm really sorry about it. Oh, already feels grippier. You can genuinely feel it. If I can be a little bit careful with my tyres on the outlap, while also warming them up, that'd be pretty good.
this tower looking like this like Whoa That's for the outlap Wow the Rooney Oh my god What if I made the double super soft strategy work in the sprint race Not the best one I don't think We'll wait and see Russell's the fastest so far So it was 11% of the start of the lap. The and that was on a coasting lap. Checking the deltas. I'll check on the straight for sector two delta. I'm a second down. What? I mean, I know it wasn't a clean lap or anything, but what? down on where I'm, I was expecting to be. Right, come on. I've actually got a sort of, on, on a lap old tyres, in terms of pushing as well. It's a bit better, but come on. me time. Let's go again. That's what we love to see. We love to see it. Oh, come on. Fuck me. I'm, I'm lowering the difficulty. Fuck it, I'm lowering it.
Fuck it. That's it, I'm lowering the difficulty. There, I said it. I think it was the Silverstone thing. So far, our fastest lap is a 1 minute 30.7. The grid is all set for the race tomorrow, but before we go, let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three, which are Markelov, Fuoco, and George Russell. The grid is set then, so that just leaves the race itself. Join us tomorrow, where we'll be live with all the action, and until then, goodbye. So I'm going to lower the difficulty by five, I think. Five seems about right for the feature race. And then we'll see how I do, basically. Because I'm not legend, am I? I'm barely even master. Like, do me a favour. That's just not me. Either way, it's not a great qualifying. I mean, like, yes, I was close to being in, like, the top ten, there or thereabouts. Like, there are a few places not far above me, which is what I was expecting to be, to an extent. But... You know, it's not where I want to be. Welcome to the Hungara Ring here in Hungary, just a short distance from Budapest. This is a circuit with a lot of history in motorsport. Which of our F2 drivers here today, I wonder, will add to that legacy? 14 corners here at the Hungara Ring, six lefts and eight rights. And in these conditions, there are a few places where it's going to be very easy for the drivers to run wide. Accidents are not uncommon here. Oh so shit, 11 and 11 safety wins. car at some point during the race. Shit. In the commentary box for the big race today, down. I'm Alex Jakes, and joining me once again, it's Davide Valsecchi. Davide, as well as being the 2012 GP2 champion, you also have experience as a test driver in F1. What would you say are the biggest differences for people fresh to the world of F2? Well, Alex, I think it's an exciting time in Formula 2 right now. For spectators, a lot of excitement comes from all the drivers being in the same car. That puts the emphasis on driver skills, meaning lots of overtakes, which means exciting race for us. Well then, after an exciting session yesterday, let's take a look at how the cars line up. A fantastic effort from Artem Markolov yesterday puts him on pole position, edging out Antonio Fuoco, who lines up P2. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Russell, Giotto, Alexander Albert, and Latifi, Gunter, Fukuzumi, De Vries, Sean Galea, Tete Camera, Kari, Tadasuke Makina, and Norris, Delatraz, Bocalacci, Aitkin, and Roberto Meri, Lurandi, and Arjun Maney rounds off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. So we've got 19 laps. That's what? That's the same? No. Probably that, I reckon. Because I can do the undercut. Like it says, the tyre life is 10. It, that, it says it's 10. Yeah? So... I'm going to try and do 9 and 10, and I'll, I'll see. Otherwise, yes, I will start looking at, you know, your 6 laps and your 6 and your 7s. Your 6s and your 7. But, um... Yeah. <coughs> that, I mean, obviously I'll start on the wets. Like, that's, that's going to happen anyway. There we go. I think I think it's just a case of going, isn't it? Oh, love hay fever. Okay, that felt really bad. You'll have a bit more grip than right. that on the start, but we need to warm the tyres properly now. Make sure you get some heat into the brakes as well. 
Wow, three degrees. Not anymore. I feel like brake temperatures are probably the biggest thing because, you know, like, at this stage it's not even about having temperature for grip, it's about just having the tread so that you can displace all the water. Got another heavy rain race. Yeah, we all we all know how the race went in uh, in Austria. Whoa, bit of bit of spray. Going into turn one is going to be hot luck. I'm going to have to rewind a few times today. Session in it. What the f why? Why would that happen? So we've got ten percent already. Ten percent damage already. Eleven on on the front left. Whoa, rears are even worse actually. Makes sense. I need to move with the rears. Because it's just wheels been central. Although actually the middle sector, yeah, the middle sector will certainly have some something to say about that. I think all four tires are going to be pretty horrendous. So I can at least get, you know, higher up the race. 
that's where I'm aiming. I'm basically aiming to top 8. How sad is that? So, 80%. No one sent a lap. Wow, I'm gonna struggle. I'm gonna fucking struggle, you know? I really am. So it's 18 inches across the line on the rear left. I'm gonna really fucking struggle, aren't I? Oh, fuck. Fuck. Ugh. It's a guessing game. It's actually a guessing game. It's, it really is just a guessing game. That's all it is. And I, I can't really see myself overtaking anyone on the track, if I'm honest. I think, I think the best way I'm going to overtake people is um, with the undercut and then doing a left, one less stop. Technically it'll be an overcut and then an undercut. Sort of at the same time. So an overcut on everyone else's first stop. Provided they also do the same strategy anyway. Um, so an overcut on everyone's first stop and an undercut on their second stop at the same time. Sorry. Fuck. Whoa. No one even touched me. It felt like someone did. Struggling a bit for traction. Can we possibly get our teammate, T1? The car behind is dropping back. We're seeing a gap for Okay, so maybe it's 8% a lap, which is manageable. What? I didn't touch him. Maybe it's 8% flat. Or maybe it's not. Yeah, that's just shit. That's really shit. I'm really sorry for anyone who watches this. Like, oh my god. Gap really past uh, beyond this ball. Shit. Oh, shit. I don't really care. Like, yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit elbows out and everything, isn't it? But what can you do? What can you do? Bro. Bro, that's impressive as well. I'm not, I'm not getting down with John. Aggressive AF. I'm right on the back of the island, like, oh my god. Can I go around the outside? No. But right, it's here, that is not a traditional way of overtaking spot. Maybe I could have waited for the heavier brake to go down here. Who cares? Who actually cares? I've gone straight on, haven't I? I've, I'm basically aquaplaning everywhere. I'm now in ninth, which isn't good enough. I need to be in the top eight. Top top eight is what I need to be. Considering I was what 14th on the grid, I reckon it's all right. But no, I need to be in that top eight. I really do. Whoa. Oh, not a bad lap on the whole. Gunter's up next, followed by Latifi, Nicholas Latifi. He's looking really good this season. And if 
they didn't already have George Russell, I'd say Williams might replace Kubica with the TV. But as it stands, they need someone who's at least experienced and knows how to develop a car. Although actually, is Kubica necessarily experienced because he's been out for so long? He really has. So, while he's old, he's not experienced. Someone like Esteban Ocon uh, probably doesn't have as much experience, but with modern cars he certainly does. So, the Williams has absolutely no downforce on it. Like, absolutely none. And I, I have a feeling it's actually pretty high drag as well. Because, you'd think it would be at least okay in some, pow some power tracks. But no, it's still like every race has been slowest. Aside from possibly the harsh, if you've been really harsh. If you've been really harsh. Oh, I need to shut up. These 11 11 wings have worked a right treat in this race. Jesus. I need to start being more 
Staying out, guns is going in. Does does the undercut work in the wet? Presumably. Sergio is coming in for a stop. What? 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 Two what? laps until our pit window opens. What? We're going to put you on the full wet tyre. Cheers, Jeff. happens and I still do it. So the TV is pulling a bit now, now that he doesn't have to defend from Junta. We are, we are really looking at 90 plus percent on these tyres. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm pushing them right to the edge. <clears throat> and I wouldn't be surprised if I get a puncture, which would just fuck my strategy entirely. Today. Some information on Giotto. They have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Does that affect me? I thought it was really fun. So this this strategy is either going to be amazing or awful. Awesome. Shit. Judge by that break is going to be awful. So I'm, I'm one percent over the day after completing eight laps. Isn't bad. Is De Vries in a Kramer? A new yeah. strategy is available on the MFT. Yeah, I know I shouldn't be doing rewinds. Check your MFD for yeah. a new strategy option. Shut up, Jeff. Shut up, Jeff. The new strategy is available on the MFD. Lost. That's really fucking slow. Understood. Copy 
Capitan. going so fast suddenly. Who, he's been at the back of the grid all fucking season and now he's suddenly super quick. Oh Jesus. But it's like, yeah, it's the front left that's going to go if any of them are, but, you know, the rest of them are pretty worn as well. Like the least worn tyre is 69%. But somehow, we have actually made it without getting a puncture. And we'll probably get one going into the pit lane, I reckon. Oh my god. I can't see where everyone is because my little Twitch streaming banner is uh, directly over the little map. Go, go, go! Right, so I really need to be ahead of that big old train. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over the track. Seriously now, how are we underfueled? How are we underfueled? I don't get it. We, we're never underfueled. Like seriously, what? Am I gonna have to do some fucking Olympic Coast shit? I'm, I'm honestly, I'm sort of happy to stay behind the crew, conserve my fuel a bit, conserve my time a bit. You know, I'm not going to push, because if I can undercut all of these guys, because they, they're all now committed to doing a two-stop. So I'm happy to sort of sit behind, not really wearing my tyres out much, not pushing, taking a bit of fuel while we're at it. Giotto's holding them all up. Oh, they said Giotto had a problem. So basically, I am committed to not being in the top. 
stop whatever it is. Um, oh my god, this is so good for my time. It's Heavy like rain, just stay a while. Doesn't look like it's moving anytime soon. I need to lift and coast more. I, I mean, I can get away with lifting and coasting more. Why don't I? Imagine it's something downforce related for the Kyoto. No, surely. I mean, it has been going on a while. Oh, maybe it's ended or something. Or, yeah. So suddenly, 14th on the grid and not in the top eight. Our strategy is coming out on top. Oh, everyone's going in now. Right, now is when we need to fucking push, okay? Sergio is in the pits. So, Sergio in the pits. Look at Zuma there. Oh, fuck, I might have to do more than the post. Shit. I didn't think about that. I mean, I've also got to look after the tires, don't get me wrong. I don't get how that's happened though. Like, what? How, how am I so marginal? 
I don't get it. Zoomy and the TV need to get off the fucking road, okay? Get off the road, spaz. Fine, I'll go one more. I'm, oh, I'm not impatient, I can't be impatient enough to just barge them off. I don't, I don't get why it's happening. Oh my god, I really have to manage my fuel. This is weird. Is it because of the weather? So 6.6 to George Russell. I'm, I mean, he's obviously going to pass me. That's like for sure. That really is like a guaranteed thing. That was actually only 8% as well. Like these tires can be there. Keep it up. Whoa, what? How was I purple in the last sector? What? I was... Not really lifting and coasting, but you know. Oh, get me some milk. Because I'm, cause I'm Lando Norris. Luca Ghiotto, grazie ragazzi, just tutte ragazzi. Up the race so far. I mean, that clearly means there's problems. You know, it's disappeared. Which is, you know, I'm really happy for it. Shit. So. Oh my god, this is actually just a, a race of management. It's crazy. I've got to manage my tyres and my fuel and drive. Going you know, off the sim like data, the... we expect you're going to start feeling the effect of tyre wear around about now. Let us know if it gets too bad. That's not going to be good for the tyres, is it? I know, I know I'm being a little bitch about it, but fuck you. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you guys. But I'm worried I'm not gonna have enough fuel. I'm like I'm like Mercedes in Austria, lifting and coasting for like a lot of the Oh my god. Oh my 
I, can, I reckon I can lift and coast a lot more. George Russell isn't catching me. Not really. Right, what's the fuel now? Worse, it's getting worse. At the moment, the car behind us is lapping oh, faster Christ. than us by around one second per lap. Oh, Christ. Oh, fuck. So, I need to manage tyres and fuel and my lead oh my god but you know what I could I could give it all up and just sort of secure fifth place I actually could I really could I could just secure that dead on They don't look like they're driving. shifting. We're predicting at least 20 minutes of heavy rainfall. Yeah, that's the rest of the race, Jeff. Like, do me a favour. Russell's undoubtedly going to catch me. Like that, I, I'm pretty sure that's going to happen now. Oh my god, there are three laps left. Oh fuck. So that, right, one, that means there's not much time for Russell to catch me. Two, that means there's not much time for me to lift and coast left. Like, I, oh, I know it's very marginal, but, come on. Come on. Yeah, I'm on then. I'm not even looking, I'm, I'm thinking more about the fucking fuel than I am about the tyres. Like, in terms of, you know, looking at the numbers themselves. Oh, Russell doesn't even have fast lap anymore, shit. So... There's not, there's actually not much time left in the race. There really isn't. So I need to lift and coast fucking miles to this corner. Because I've got two laps left and it's going down if anything. Here, I'm lifting and coasting here. Yeah, George Russell is definitely going to catch me. Like, like I, I'm, I'm just resigned to the fact that that's going to happen now. I mean, like, yeah, he's got to get past me, but it'll probably just do it like in turn one because of how much I'm lifting the coast. It's ridiculous. But to be fair, I think I do have second place in fuel. I think I've got that locked on. Don't, don't spin.
This lifting and coasting shit isn't fun. Oh my god, this race management. I. Oh Jesus Christ. It's barely even through the race. Oh, wait, no, right, I'm gonna rewind. Purely to lift and coast. You will never have seen anything like this before. I'm lifting and coasting here. Maybe it's too much, maybe it's not, I don't know. But it's the last lap of the race. And to be honest, that might have just saved me there. I can't go fucking balls to the wall, balls to the thing. How are the tyres doing? Actually, okay. So, I, I pop... Oh, may, maybe I could have hit the lap earlier if I'd known where I was going to come out. I'm directly behind. Ah, oh, but I uh, I know I shouldn't rewind. Like, do me a favor. It's fine, no one cares. I, I especially don't care. My Xbox, my rules. Oh my god. Oh shit, someone's off. Aiken, Aiken's off. Is Aiken out of the race? Right, I need to worry about fuel more. What? No, I'm... No. No, 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 what? Right, so... Oh my god. I think I might be about to win this race. Oh, Latifi's out as well. Wait, Aiken was just in the pits. Did he have like a last minute puncture? Yeah, I lifted and coasted so aggressively on the last lap. And somehow, after starting 14th on the grid, I somehow I'm driving. Win That's the race win. The feature race. It, that was all about the strategy, and I'm fucking proud that I suggested it. You could see it could be done. It would just be difficult. Brilliant stuff from Carlin today. What a superb victory. And Davide Valsecchi, give me your thoughts. How did they accomplish this result? Simply, they are just a better driver in the way. Here in Formula 2, we know the car are the same. Oh, so it's not driver, down to machinery. They can just handle the weather better than everyone else. I mean, they can have the throttle open longer, they can push more, break later, and are able to handle it all. They make it look like they have a much faster car, but it's a pure skill behind the wheel. Really incredible drive. And there you have it, today's winners. Having raised some of the biggest names in F1 to date, Carlin have once Lando again Maurice. shown their expertise when How it comes to recruiting new talent. How have I actually No doubt that today's winners have a bright future ahead of them. To do they certainly, certainly deserve it. After today's Less so in the second sim. It was fuel management in the second. Like, oh my god. Maybe I shouldn't have downed the difficulty. So you know what? Yeah, I'll put it back to 100. So then, it's time to see how this result affects the Drivers' Championship. It's a good result for Lando Norris, who extends his advantage at the top of the championship. And so, Driver of the Day then, Davide Valsecchi, who do you think you'd go for? Probably Lando Norris. You know, strong Three. pace, good work with the strategy, just a very complete driver thing. On to the teams then. Carlin have extended their lead at the top of the standings. Meanwhile, Arden's strong weekend allows them to continue their march up the table. After all this drama, you'll be mad not to join us for the next race. We hope to see you then. Take care.
We're returning after yesterday's feature race for the final event of the weekend. The sprint down on the grid below us. The drivers are spending their last few minutes getting ready. Very soon, they're going to kick this race off in dramatic fashion. Alongside me today, I'm delighted to welcome back to the commentary box the 2012 GP2 champion, Davide Valsecchi. There looks to be a challenging race ahead of the drivers today, Davide. With that in mind, what are you looking out for today? Well, Alex, I want to see how the drivers at the back of the grid are going to roll down. They'll need to make an impact in the early stages, and they're probably hoping for a bit of luck at the start. We may see some bold maneuvers out there today. Let's be patient going into turn one. We want to be in a good position for the rest of the race. Good luck. So unfortunately, I don't actually have any experience in terms of what the tire wear is going to be. I think start on the mediums. Yeah, it's mediums this year. Start on the mediums. If it's bad, I can just pit and have an exciting race. Yeah. Sounds about good. I sort of want to do that anyway. I almost want to do stop. Everything looks good on the power unit cycle, so let's concentrate on bringing tyres and brakes up to temperature. It's lights out and away with it. But you know, you know what I mean. I don't know how I pulled that Rob 
Mary. Uh, Rob Mary's for puffs. That's uh, just clear. That's what my old DT teacher used to say. Oh, hey, Alex. So I've, I've still lost two positions, even though I've got part out of them. I mean, I lost so many of them, like, it was horrendous. It was horrendous. Tyler, oh, uh, how are we doing? Yeah, nothing, nothing. See? I don't get it. Why is it, like, even wet, I don't understand. Right, no, you know, I might just push, yeah, I've got to push actually, see, I'm massively, like, because of my sort of lack of pace, or, or everyone's lack of pace, sorry, in the wet, I'm underestimated, like, everyone here. Jesus, what, what am I doing? What am I actually doing? What am I playing at? I don't understand. Whoa! Yeah, fuck it. I, d I actually don't care. Like, you should know that by now. I don't care.
by around a second a lap. Keep this up. So you know how I'm not a professional? Yeah? Well I fear that my mic hasn't been on since around the start of the race. That, yeah, I, I have a feeling that could be the case. Whoops. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, I'm not, I'm not good at this. I'm new to this. Sorry. God. Oh, that's my wing. <laughs> yeah, just go here, why not? Fine, sorry, Gunter. I'm sorry. God. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Oh, he's got DRS as well, and I've got, I've just got too much wing to do it in speed one, which isn't great. Or do I? Yeah, that's just a dick move. That is such a dick move, and I'm sorry. I'm 
Wait, what? Did... What happened there? It was like we barely even skimmed. What, what happened to the good old full safety car? Like, as much... As, as good as VSC is for for uh, safety and all. I do feel a bit like racing would be better if you have more safety cars. VSC ending, we're going green. Maintain positive delta until the green flags. They're speeding up again, so I expect they fix whatever the problem was. No, they're fucking not. He's retired from the session. So if Russell can pull me along to Fuoco, then I'll, I'll be happy. And Guns will probably get pulled along with us, presumably. Although we are pretty quick. There's also five laps left, so, you know. Yep, 
Yeah, my lines are really fucking messy. Like, wow. Yeah, that's also, did there used to be a DRS section along that little straight? I'm pretty sure there was. I'm certain there was, like, in the past. We're talking, like, F1 2013 things. But I'm certain there was, like, back when India was on the calendar. Because I've got a little image of my, in my head, and it's, like, the same DRS thing. Yeah. The car I swear there was. Back by about three tenths a map. Don't fucking look it. DRS and slip screen and Russell's pulling away from me. Maybe I shouldn't have gone quite so aggressive with the wings. I can't believe I didn't get, didn't get wing damage from that. I'm just a retard. Worth a go, isn't it? There's only three laps left. Fuck! God. Oh, God. Oh, God. No! No! Oh, sorry, George. Sorry, George. Oh, yeah. How good? How good? Was the Austrian Grand Prix? So it'll be interesting to see how close we get to Fuoco at the end of the race. Um, last lap, I mean, I'll fucking go for it. Yeah, fuel's fucking fine on this gun. Not too much, if anything. Sergio. Fuck. Whoa, that was... I think it was on the exact frame. Oh my god, I didn't even, I didn't even hear the DRS beep. 
think I'll just be that one today. And maybe I could even break away this lap. Except I'm not, because it's fucking George Russell, isn't it? Oh. That was just a slow sentence. To be fair, it's not just like, yeah. Somehow I went purple in the first sense, which I don't get. Oh, it's, it's almost certainly just because I braked fairly well and um, had DRS and slipstream. And yeah, happy days. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Ahead to car in front is 3 one 34.1 You're gaining Brilliant George Russell struggles to overtake now But to be fair to the lab He actually will fucking sound happy, don't I? Fucking hell. Brilliant stuff from Campos today. What a superb victory. Fair play. Fair play. David, what do you think made the difference here? This race, this win, was about one thing and one thing only. Cool difference between that and being quick every lap, over and over and over. If you can do that, if you can gain ground, when your opponents make mistakes, but then not make mistakes on your own, you can just push and push. I can see them on their way out to the podium now. Campos have come a really long way in this sport, and what a special race this was to see them earn the top spot. Fair play to them. Just quick today, quicker than me, certainly. I just, you know, I, I don't really think there's much to say about the race today. After this round yeah, of the World Championship, here's how things look in the driver's tape. It's a good result for Lando Norris, who extends his advantage at the top of the championship. And now, Davide Valsecchi, let me ask you, who is your driver of the day? I'm going to say Jack Eitken. It was probably one of his best drivers of the season, and I was impressed. And here's how things are shaping up in the team's championship. It was a tough race for our championship leaders, who lose ground at the top of the table. It was great having you with us for this weekend. And I hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We'll see you when Formula 2 returns. Lovely stuff there. That's the sprint race. Feature race. <sighs> Full weekend. Come out on top ahead of Javris, Fuoco, Russell, Markelov, Giotto. He wants to get a few points. Fairly underwhelming in terms of just general... Yeah. But what can you do? Um... There we go. We'll have a look at the look at the highlights.
Welcome to one of the most up. Whoops.
right, that'll wrap it up for today. See you later, lads. Have a good one.